Hello and welcome to Ocarina of Time again. We got the Ocarina of Time in the last part. That's what this is. It's blue. And that's really all that happened. We got Princess Rudo's stone thing. She's still breaking engaged at 12 years old. Um, that's That about sums up everything that happened in the last part within like... I don't know how long I've been recording. Like not even 30 seconds. Or maybe more than 30 seconds. But anyways, to the left of the potion shops, this weird mysterious area that nobody ever thought of going to until they saw it. And this area is called the Temple of Time. Or just Temple of Time. Not the Temple of Time, not the Temple of Time, just Temple of Time. Um, so, if you come here before uh, you get the stones and stuff, nothing really happens. You can't do anything. But here, you play the Song of Time after you got the sacred stones, the sacred, the spiritual stones. And then, yeah, you get your stuff. It's, uh, I realized that the TV is also too loud. Um, you should probably change that. The TV's not too loud anymore. In fact, it's too quiet. Not really. Um, but anyways, we play the song, Triforce lights up, the door opens, and our spiritual stones that are like half the size of our body, um, end up coming out of our pocket. I don't know why they got that big, but I have no idea where Link keeps them. So, that was really sexy, isn't that? Also, for these episodes, um, I'm just going to record a ton. So, um, it's not going to be like, hey, thanks for watching and stuff at the end. It'll probably just cut to the end of the video. Um, isn't that the legendary blade? The Master Sword. Yeah, I'm just going to like, I'm probably not going to be like, thanks for watching and blah, blah, blah at the end. I'm probably just going to have it end off because I feel like just doing a ton of recordings or just, yeah, a ton of record. Yeah, maybe I will do the end off thing. But anyways, um... Yeah, I don't know why I told anybody that, because they might just keep it- Oh no! Is that- Yeah, excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. There are more spiritual stones, but okay. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. So if they kept uh, this version of Gandorf in Super Smash Bros, I think it'd be a bit better. Because uh, he moves faster. Sexy. Wake up, Sexy, the chosen one. I don't know why I make a certain face when you use that voice, but I just do. So they try to hide that there's somebody there. But on the right side of the screen, you saw, like, some robes or something, and then, like, the top of the dude's head. Um, I mean, you'll see them now, and they're like, wow, it's you. I am Roru, of one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the Sacred Realm. <clears throat> Sexy, don't be alarmed, look at yourself! What? Whoa! We're an adult now. Look sexy, you're big now, you've grown up. I'm tired. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which you will may never touch. 
Only one worthy of the title, Hero of Time, can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. So we were technically kidnapped? And now that you're old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as a Hero of Time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Well, duh. But remember. <clears throat> Excuse me. Though you open the door of time in the name of peace. Ganondorf, the great king of the... I'm not going to use that voice. It's going to hurt my throat. He is returned to the forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light. And with its power, he became the king of evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm. Namely, this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remain. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages seals will contain all of evil power in the void of the realm. I or one of the sage and one of the sages and your power your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time, okay. The hero of time chosen by the master sword. Came a spirit with you and find the power of the other sages and other might to your own. Yay. Wonder how big this thing really is. You received the light medallion and Rory the Sage adds his power to yours. Find the Sage and save how rule. How big is the medallion supposed to be? Well, there's like slots on the Master Sword that Link puts them in so then he could increase his power or something like that my eyes are watering I think I'm crying now because of how long that took and how sad it was looking at my TV compared to like when I was looking at the uh, the other thing sexy we're back in the temple of time I have seven years really passed um, it's really satisfying to see it in like so much clearer on my TV than in OBS Looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Why? Let's get out of here. I've been waiting for you, hero of time. When evil rules, all an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to the sages who dwell in the five temples, one in the deep forest, one on the high mountain, one under a vast lake. Why is it actually dead? <laughs> one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the Hero of Time, the Awakened Ones will bind the evil and re return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. I'm just going to read it from my TV. I don't want to look at OBS. Because of the Eastian, they're holding the Mystical Master Sword. You really do look like the legendary Hero of Time. Okay. I wonder if I can fall asleep in my chair. I could, I could probably fall asleep in my chair. I will do that tonight. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and wake the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. Sage is a girl. Excuse me, I'm sure you know. Martha from high school? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked while recording him text people. Give him the power, and because of the power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. 
Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. Not even with Game Shark. But people uh, uh, Eagle Village. Yes, I understand. Sheik. Okay, so basically we're going to Kakariko Village. I'm going to cut to when we get there because save time. And I don't want to have this episode just be like, hey, we're actually, I want to show, I should probably show what happens and all of it. I don't want to be like, hey, we got this. Then suddenly everything's gone. So um, thankfully I'm not eating tea. We're not eating tea, drinking teas. Otherwise you'd hear a ton of like slamming down of my mug hitting the desk. So basically, everyone's dead. Um, you probably have seen these in the royal family's tomb um, when we got the Sun Song. Um, but they're always going to be here because uh, they all of the people died. And yeah, that's, that's about it. Harold Field's all dark and stuff and gloomy. Um, but anyways, uh, let's, we're gonna go to the Kakariko Village Graveyard, that's like right behind where the lady, uh, the cuckoo lady's at, so see you in there, over there. So the cuckoo lady's right here, our chickens are gone again. And the graveyard is this way, oh before we do that we're actually gonna go over here and get something that's not really required, but I like getting all the songs, it's always really nice, I'm tired. So as you see, this guy is like freaking angry. So you pull out an ocarina and he's like, What? You got an ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me, I forgot to do the dishes. Oh well. That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up this windmill. There you go. I don't know if we're the bean kid or maybe it was Skull Kid. No, that was us because it was right down up for the Sun Song. And he said that we we're the mean kid, but how are we the mean kid? What did we do? He learned the Song of Storms. These are his tears that are hitting the, the, the inside. We make it rain inside, but anyways, into the graveyard we go. So you go over here, pull this one open, and then drop down, I think it's this one, yes. <laughs> Young man, are you fast on your feet? I mean, it look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race, follow me if you dare, while well, you're dead, so of course you're going to be faster. He drops fire by the way, so watch out for that. You gotta turn a corner and there's gonna be like a flame just sitting there. Like what's gonna happen right now? It's gonna drop right there. Um, this he always drops in like the dumbest places because they want you to fall behind. So just kind of hug the wall um, and keep your eye on him because he likes to do underhand things. It was is that the term? I don't know. Bad things. He likes to throw you off. So be careful. Don't get hit by the fire and you won't fall behind. What if you've played this, because everybody and their mothers have played this game. I mean, not everybody and their mothers, but a lot of people have played this game. So if you memorized it, then cool. If you didn't, then that's cool too. Um, see, that's two fires in a row. Don't know why he does that. But anyways, you just keep following him. And it's only going to take you, like, roughly a minute. Um, if you don't get hit by the fire, because, you know, you got to recover from getting flames thrown at you and then when you come here he'll be like the time of the race was 106 <laughs> young man you were very quick to be able to keep up with me <laughs> the reward I'm going to give you my treasure it's called the hookshot its spring loaded chain will pull you to any spot where its hook sticks doesn't that sound cool I'm sure it will help you I live here now so come back again sometime I'll give you something cool Uh, 
I'm not going to do the laugh because I was laughing too much last night and um, I kind of may have hurt my throat. Don't laugh while laying down, it's not a good thing. At least to me it wasn't. You found the hookshot, spring load, it's basically what Dombe said. Um, you could drag this into the toward you and use it to pull yourself towards something. It's like the boomerang, basically. Minus being pulled towards something. So to get out of here, these are uh, new blocks. And you played Song Time in front of them, and they will disappear. Pretty cool. L nifty little thing. Um, I know we did like nothing this episode, but I'm gonna end off because we're at like 16 minutes. There was a long cutscene and everything. We got the hookshot and junk. This is gonna bring us out to the windmill. Um, there's a piece of heart over there, but I'm not gonna get it because this is a three heart run. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and junk and all that stuff. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.